Sub Gaming Addicts Extraordinaire. What's up, y'all? Um so I gotta I gotta talk about this. This has nothing to do with gaming. So if you're tuning in for gaming stuff, uh, I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be everything for everybody, man. So let's talk about your boy <sighs> Jussie, Juicy, whatever the fuck you wanna call that, man. What the fuck is wrong with him, man? What the fuck is wrong with him? Really, man? You gonna have you gonna have some fake thugs hired because you are unhappy with your salary? You gonna create all of this? You gonna go through all of that because you are unhappy with your funds? Man, let me show you my apartment. Look, look. All right, all right. That's the goddamn front room. This is the goddamn kitchen. This is the goddamn bathroom. This is the goddamn bedroom, right? I just showed you my whole fucking apartment. I work every fucking day damn near, right? Just like all of y'all. Every day, grinding, struggling, failing, trying again, struggling, failing, Trying again, struggling, failing. This is where the fuck I'm at. And you, with your dumb ass, you got the fame. I don't even know if you can sing at this point. Maybe it's already been established that you can't sing years ago. I don't know because I don't watch Empire. Um, I don't even know if you could fucking sing. But as far as I know, last time I watched Empire, which was season one, you could sing, nigga. So you could sing. You got a show. You make a mass bread, maybe not as much as the other people, but it don't really fucking matter. And you you so fucking unhappy, you so miserable, you so stupid that you go on in this day and age, hire somebody for some play shit like this is just another scene of Empire. Man, you done fucked up. Are you crazy? How can... The unhappiness over salary, I bet you, you could have took that same money that you used to hire those fakers, those actors, right? An actor hiring, hiring actors. <laughs> You're so stupid. What's wrong with you? Why are you so stupid? So that same money you could have used. Instead of getting a lawyer so you can renegotiate your contract because obviously you're disgruntled. You're a disgruntled employee at this point. Well, you know what? I have to give you props on one thing because apparently black people, when we're disgruntled, two things happen. We either fight you or we hire actors. You know, white people, when they get disgruntled at work, like they'll just shoot that motherfucker up. So I guess kudos to you for not shooting up the workplace, man, because you're a little bit upset. But I'm sure that same money you could have used, man, you could have, you just could have gave it to a lawyer and had him try to renegotiate something. I mean, the show, again, I haven't seen the show in a long time. But I'm pretty sure the show, like, needs you in some way. I mean, I know they're going to kill you off now. Like, you're done. Like, you better believe, like, your your character is going to fucking fall off a bridge. Like, they might not even put you in the last episode and just say, like, you got kidnapped and you was never seen again. Like, they might just do you dirty like that because, man, like, you don't deserve any 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 final scenes with honor. Like, you, you just need to go out like Judas. You know what I mean? Like, nobody sees you, nobody knows you, and then, like, your grave is like a dumpster site. You know what I mean? Like, what is wrong with you? That's first. Second, come on, man. Like, we're going through a lot right now as black people, right? Like, I grew up in the 80s and the 90s. Race relations was shitty. 2000s, 2010s. 
um, up until Trump, it was it was a lot better. You know what I mean? Um, and I have to say that as of right now, like race relations is the worst I've ever seen in my lifetime. Like I said, I grew up in the 80s and 90s um, when technically, you know, white people have only been really living, you know, around black people consistently for like 30 years, 20 years in the 80s and 90s, right? Because, I mean, it really wasn't cool until like 1969, 70. I mean, let's be honest. So 20, 30 years, which isn't enough time. So trying to reacclimate, trying to just get it. And I can't even say reacclimate, trying to acclimate. You know, it was rough, you know, like I remember a lot of times, you know, I remember a, a lot of a lot of name calling, you know, in the 80s, 90s. But uh, it's been better. But like I said, I haven't seen it any worse in my lifetime than what it is right now. And so for you to use that car, to use that platform for your own selfishness and stupidity, like the, the amount of disgrace and the amount of shame that you brought to yourself, that you brought to your family. I don't know if you have kids. I don't even know if you're really gay. Like I said, I don't pay attention to you. I don't follow you. I never did. I don't really follow stars at all because they're just people. Like, why am I going to look up to you? I'd rather just look up to myself and figure it out. I mean, I'll definitely, you know, use y'all for like secrets and tips and hints on how to make it. But I'll be goddamned if I just look at you and say, oh, like, let me just be starstruck. I don't fucking think so. Like, you're not a supernova. So, uh, I just, I don't know if you have kids, like, I don't know if you have any family that's alive, any siblings, like, I don't know how that works, man. All I know is like, you disgraced everybody forever. Like nobody will, I mean, I don't care what you do in your career from this moment on, if you have a career going forward, but you will never, you will never live this moment down in history that you have done. And, and you shouldn't, you know, um, if you would have done something else, you know, let's say you used the same, the same actors to, to fake beat you up. Right. But it was just like a mugging or something like that. Then that's, that's cool. You know, it is what it is, but for you to, to use the race card in a situation like this, when things are as hostile and as volatile as they are now for you to use that and selfishly try to gain from that. I don't even understand how you was going to get a raise anyways. What, they was just going to feel sorry for you because you got beat up because you're black and gay or whatever the fuck? Like, then they was just going to give you a raise? Is that how it works in Hollywood? Like, they just give sympathy money out and shit? Like, I know y'all get gift bags. I know y'all get free clothes, free cars, free watches, free food, free fucking everything. But I didn't know they gave out sympathy money. You know what I mean? Like, what, what am I missing? Like, so, so for you to use that, like, I mean, the disgrace, I, I, I just think that honestly, I think us as a community, I think we should just ostracize you. I mean, that's just me personally. I mean, so I, I think I'll just go on ahead and just say it right now. Uh, boycott, Juicy, Jussie, Jiffy, whatever the fuck you want to call yourself, call your ass banned. That's how that's how I feel about it. You're banished. Like you can fucking be on the outskirts, man. If you're if you're not contributing to the cause, then you're destruct. You're helping to destruct it, you know. So you got to go, bro. Like I can't even call you, bro. Like you got to go, man. Like you're out of here. You're out of here, homie. Like that's crazy. I mean, what, what's wrong with you? So, uh, yeah, just let me know what y'all think, man. Because I think it's I think it's horrific. I think it's unacceptable. I think it's stupid. I think it's selfish. I think it's egotistical. I think it's, I think it's, it's shameful. I think it's disrespectful. I think it's rude. I think it's stupid. I think it's dumb as fuck. I think it's not smart. I think it's, I think it's everything that has everything to do with non-intelligence. That's the way that I feel about that. That's, it's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard in my life. And I've heard a lot of dumb shit. I know a lot of dumb people. I've seen a lot of dumb ass shit. I, I'm not young. And this has got to be up there with just one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in my whole life. I just gave you a tour of my whole apartment without even moving. And you over here mad because your contract is ass. Shut up. That dumb shit. Shut your ass up. Shut up. With your dumb ass shit.
motherfucking car got 160,000 goddamn miles on it trying to figure out if I need to get a new one or not and I can't even afford it and you over here hiring actors to fake beat your ass because you're upset shut the fuck up punk ass man the fuck's wrong with you shit if you wanted somebody to beat your ass for some money why don't you just hit me up I could have did it for real Still can if you want me to. If you really want something, I'll put on some white face. Some goddamn boots with some red shoelaces on. Draw some fucking lightning bolts on my neck. And beat your ass. Lost your fucking mind. What's wrong with this world today, man? Y'all motherfuckers is all crazy. I love y'all. Like, subscribe, comment. I'm out.